Back to the news now. A Waco couple gearing up for a legal fight tonight after Waco police body camera footage revealed the moments that led up to their dog being shot and killed by officers. This all happened when officers went to the wrong house on a burglary call. Six News reporter Adriana Alexander is here in studio now and has reaction from a police expert. Adriana, we want to hear this. Viewing the footage, our expert believes the situation could have been handled differently, but he also says people shouldn't jump to any conclusions. The dog's back here. Waco police responded to a burglary call at the wrong address Saturday, June 3rd, and ended up killing one dog and tasing another. The footage of what transpired was released by police, giving the dog owners a better understanding of what happened that day. I think it was pretty clear that they were in a dog's environment and where the one officer chose the made the right choice. Uh, the officer that took Finn's life uh, did not. Neither one of the officers have ever fired their taser or gun before this happened. Waco PD spokesperson Sierra Shipley told Six News the officer who fatally shot the dog won't face any disciplinary action. To hear no disciplinary action, that's just them saying, you deal with it. I didn't do anything wrong. The officer felt he was in danger and that's why he says he fired the gun. Law enforcement expert Charles Kimball hopes the public understands the difficult situation the officer was in at the time. He saw a dog that he's never met before, and that dog was coming at him. That, so that, that dog was coming at him, a dog that he'd never met before. He had to make some decisions. I just hope that people can keep an open mind, that police officers, our, our law enforcement, our peace officers are there to help people. But sometimes, man, things happen so quickly, things are out of their control. And, and, and un unfortunate things happen. Vasquez and his girlfriend, Cassandra Page, have been in contact with an attorney who says the video will likely help with pleading their case. Do I think, you know, either officer did the right thing? Well, no, they shouldn't have been at my house at all. Um, there's a lot, a lot that could have been different. The couple surpassed their GoFundMe goal of $7,000, and that money will be used to pay attorney fees, guys. Well, it's become a civil case now. It'll move yep. forward. We'll see what happens. Adriana, thank you for the update.